Okay, so we're doing a low carb pancake battle today, keto friendly. Um, we have the Swerve, the Lakanto, and the Birch Benders. Which one's gonna be best? You'll find out later. Hey there, if you're new to our channel, we are Keizu Keto, and our channel is all about our keto lifestyle. We post videos about grocery hauls, vlogs, recipes, reviews, and don't forget about our live streams. We started keto around the beginning of the year and we absolutely love dragging our friends and family along on the journey with us. If any of this sounds fun to you, please subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when we release new videos. So being a former carboholic, I miss pancakes. These are keto pancakes. If you want to follow along on our carboholic journey, got the link here to our playlist. Let's try these out. Okay, how we're gonna test these out is we are going to go based on texture, flavor, macros, and ingredients. We'll have all that information for you. And then we are going to post the macros on the screen um, while we're testing them out. Okay, so real quick before we start this pancake battle, um, if you're interested, I am uh, I'm trying to grow out my hair and I've heard this is a really good combination to do that. So I'm just using eight ounces of coconut milk and uh, one scoop of this keto collagen chocolate powder, um, mixing it up in a glass and drinking that. It's not too bad for uh, calories and no carbs, nothing like that. Um, so we'll see how that goes. If you, if you are interested in that, we'll put links to this stuff and everything else in, a, in the description down below, um, with the exception of our coconut or our <laughs> avocado oil because we get this from Costco. So first up is our Swerve pancake and waffle mix. We don't have a waffle maker so we're just going to do the pancakes. For four pancakes it's a half a cup of the mix, one egg, two tablespoons of oil, no I'm sorry two teaspoons of oil, make sure you get that right, and three tablespoons of milk. It does just say oil and milk so interpret that how you want, use what you want. We have coconut milk on hand which Usually I'm not a big fan of, but it's fine in the, the keto chocolate collagen. So we're gonna use it for this too. And then our um, avocado oil that we get from Costco. Two tablespoons of batter per pancake. Um, I have a feeling they're gonna come out really, really tiny. So as you could see earlier, this package really wasn't resealable. So the kids have friends over. We decided to make the whole box, which makes 20. Unless you're like Greg, who gets tired of making them and makes a big Mamba Jamba pancake out of the last one. Kids ones. don't care. So these are all done. We're gonna move on to the Lakanto. Okay, while the other pancakes were warm in the, warming in the oven, we have the Lakanto. Let's say this is for three to four pancakes, half, Half a cup of pancake mix. I thought it said half on the bag, so half total, but half a cup of pancake mix, an egg, quarter cup of water, and one teaspoon. It says coconut oil, but we're using the avocado oil. So let's get these going. This batter is uh, quite a bit thicker than the um, Swerve batter. It does say on the packaging that you can add like one teaspoon at a time. That's really thick. Stacy tried to fix her pancakes. A little too thick. That's what she said. I'm on teaspoon number four. I don't know how many teaspoons or tablespoons are in a quarter cup, and a quarter cup of water is not enough. Look at this, guys. We got fantastic sludge going on over here. We got a pancake blob. Yeah, that, that's that's nasty. So, uh, tip tip of the day. Make sure you add the extra water so it's more consistent, like pancake batter. Yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a it's a really biscuit. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a really flat biscuit that I can't get underneath. There we go. Oh, it looks delicious. So I ended up adding five extra teaspoons of water because it still wasn't quite the right consistency. But now it's much better. It's much more viscous. I like that word. It's still not spreading very much. That's what he said. It's 
not as funny when you do it. All right, let's recap. Lacanto. Not a just add water. Add eggs, egg, um, oil, and uh, water with the mix. No extra water, just the quarter cup. Quarter cup plus five teaspoons. Quarter cup plus six teaspoons, which is really two tablespoons. I would recommend doing that. These are gonna go in the oven with the other ones. Okay, now we're onto the birch benders. I do wanna say that we did receive this free from them in, in exchange for an honest review. So that's what we're doing in this uh, pancake battle. Um, this is the only one that is pre-mixed that you only just have to add water. So you'll see this one is a very watery consistency. This is by the directions. It was three quarters of a cup of mix and half a cup of water. Um, so we'll see how this one works out. So we're finishing up the last one of the birch benders. Um, I got a little distracted at one point. She saw Game of Thrones, guys. Alexa had a Game of Thrones video. Don't say her name! Sorry, guys. She doesn't listen to me anyway. Um, so we're... I'm not quite sure what it's playing, but it's something it's to do with the Game, Game of Thrones. It's playing the Game of Thrones, yeah. Um, so we're going to get these going. These didn't bake up as nice as the other ones. Um, they're a little difficult to flip. So I don't know if I just don't have the right heat or the right timing. Or the right focus. <laughs> well, we'll meet you at the table, guys. Okay, so if you stick with us to the end of the video, there'll be a surprise for the Keizu Keto subscribers. All right, guys, so we are at the table. Um, we have ourselves the Swerve Pancakes the Glacanto pancakes and the Birchbender pancakes. So, what do we want to try first? Might as well go in order. All right, so grab us a Glacanto pancake. We'll just do half of one. We also have some Glacanto syrup here. So real quick, we'll probably taste these on all of them, but um, so this one has 15 calories, nine carbs, three fiber, so, and five sugar alcohol, so one net carb and no protein. Per two, two tablespoons. tablespoons, one net carb. So I'm just gonna put a little, I'm gonna put a tablespoon on my plate here. Um, also, we got some eggs because one cannot live on pancakes alone, even though Stacy's former self probably would have tried. And he made these eggs different. Yeah, how are they? A little cold. <laughs> but they taste fine. He made them Gordon Ramsay style. That's why my one pancake got burnt because I was watching him and he was talking about that. You want to this? And then there was a Game of Thrones thing yeah. afterwards. And there's like squirrels and I mean just anything. So these been in the uh, getting warm. So uh, texture wise, they I mean they look like a pancake, don't they? Yeah, they yeah. look like pancakes. Um, they like feel like pancakes. Yeah. They're very thin. I'm gonna try it by itself and. Tastes as bad as a pancake to me. It's, no, I mean, if you're missing pancakes, it's a good substitute. Yeah, I'm gonna try with some syrup. It's um not the best, but I'm guessing nothing is gonna taste like a real pancake. All right. With the syrup, to me, indistinguishable to pancake. I mean, yeah. yeah. Is that this is pancake? actually really good syrup too. We'll leave this link below too. So two pancakes is technically uh, 30 grams, 63 grams if you're doing like, you know, measuring it with the pancakes and everything else that added to it. Seven grams of fat, three grams of protein, 17 total carbs, three dietary fiber, one gram of sugar, three grams of erythritol. Net carbs is 11, and that is for two pancakes, four inch pancakes. It kind of, it's like a pancake in your mouth, too. Pancake in your mouth. Texturally. <clears throat> so, ingredients in this uh, are almond flour, blanched almond flour, tapioca starch, uh, swerves, erythritol, prebiotic. Uh, you got natural flavors. You got an organic coconut flour, baking soda, sea salt, and cream of tower. Cream of tartar. Cream of tower. Yes. Um, and then there's a little, little label that says it contains almond and coconut. 
So not too bad though, not too shabby. All right, so we're gonna put that one over here and we're gonna go with the Lakanto next. Yeah. Now this one is a lot thicker. Definitely <laughs> thicker. Definitely looks like a pancake for sure. Like looking at the yeah, yeah. texture. Textures a it kinda little tends different, to, it but kind of gets mushy in your mouth. Yeah, I think that's probably what it is. So, so it tastes like a pancake initially, you know, as far as the yeah. texture, and then it kind of just melts. Yeah, dissolves. it's um, I don't know. There's something off. Yeah. Pancake wise. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's because she didn't cook it all because that one's a little gooey in the middle. Sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> Mine's yeah. cooked. Yeah. I'm gonna try a different piece. Yeah. That one's cooked. All right, so a little syrup. I'm not a huge fan of the syrup. Really? No, it's okay. It I mean, tastes kind of fake to me. Kind of plasticky. I don't eat pancakes anyway. I mean, if I did, I'd have that syrup. I mean, it's just a staple. So, uh, Lakanto, let's see. Macros, 0.5 grams of fat, 18 total carbs, 11 dietary fiber, uh, and one, uh, less than one gram of sugar alcohol. There is a taste in here that just kind of sticks to your tongue. Yeah, there is. I don't know what it is. It's not nasty. I'm making faces. It's not nasty, but I'm making faces because it's just... There's just something a little off about it. Unnatural. Yeah. But, and the, and the good side is six carbs, um, total, six net carbs for two can pancakes. So all these are two pancakes and the pancakes are about the same size. Um, so that's pretty comparable. Yeah, we did two tablespoons for a mix for pancake. Yep. So. <clears throat> um, and 50 calories. So of all the ones we're testing today, these are the lowest calorie, the lowest carb, but maybe not necessarily the most desirable. Uh, ingredients. Tapioca starch, pea protein, fiber beard, cellulose, psyllium, vegetable fiber, and oat fiber. Chickpea flour, natural flavors, rice protein, non-GMO, Lakanto monk fruit sweetener, baking powder, rice bran, sea salt, cinnamon, and potato flour, sunflower, something, a natural mixed, some word I can't pronounce. <clears throat> so if you are strict keto, I don't know. Yeah. Because of the, you know, the rice bran and the potato flour. I don't think any of these fall under the strict keto. Maybe the oh, the only I think the only one might, might is yeah. the swerve, but uh, you know you get strict but keto. But you're still 11 carbs. grams of carbs, so. So it just depends on what you're just depends on what you're doing. So. So what do you think? Do you like this one better than the last one? I don't know. I feel like maybe this swerve is a little better. A little just better. Taste wise. Texture wise too. Texturally, flavor. they're kind of the same until because they both kind of mush in your mouth. All right, so birch benders. This one kind of like when I was breaking it initially, it kind of reminds me of some of those breads that you make that are very eggy. Mm, yeah. It doesn't have the noise, but just the looking at it, it. It's kind of got the noise a little bit, a little, a little foamy. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. So I don't know. Let's try it. Yeah. That was not what I was expecting. Me either. It's actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I see that you don't agree. It's gritty. Yeah, a little gritty. It's gritty and it's like, what? how many eggs went in that? No eggs went in no that. Eggs. That was the pre-made mix. Yeah, so it's pre super eggy flavor for no eggs being actually added. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is not. I think I like this one probably the best. I'll taste stuff for, but yeah, I mean it's, but again, so. I don't like that it's gritty. So this the, probably suggests the fact that it's the least like a pancake because I like it the best and I don't really <laughs> like pancakes. The, so the mix, right? if you saw in the picture, I didn't, I didn't say it on camera earlier, but the mix to me, once it was all mixed up, kind of resembled a cornmeal or a corn, corn muffin mix. Mm. But yeah, I don't know. Again, you know, it's, it's, I think they're all good substitutes for real pancakes. 
If you need it. But yeah. they don't taste like real pancakes. Close enough, texturally. This one actually doesn't mush in your mouth. No. Texturally, I think this is better than the others, right? Mm -hmm. of texture if texture is a big thing for you i think this the birch benders is probably better texturally than the other two um the lacanto texture it's just a weird grit it is to weird it. the the um sword ones though i think they pass off they're, they're passable i kind of feel like i taste the egg too do you in the birch bender or in the swerve in the birch bender even though there's no actual egg in it well i guess there is a second ingredient eggs so speaking of that, so ingredients on this one, almond flour, eggs, tiger nut flour, organic coconut flour. The heck is that? Cassava, starch, buttermilk, levying, <laughs> monocalcium phosphate, sodium biocarbonate, salt, spice, and then it says contains eggs, milk, and tree nuts. But macros, they look pretty good. So macros, they total fat is 11 grams. Total carbs is 10 grams with five fiber. That leaves five net carbs, uh, nine protein, and 160 calories. So I personally think taste-wise, texture-wise, this is my favorite one. What's yours? I think I'm gonna agree with Morgan. I think it's the Swerve. The Swerve kind? So Stacy's in Camp Swerve, and I'm in Camp and nobody's in Camp Lacanto. Yeah. Sorry, Lacanto. Yeah. This is, uh, I don't know. I, I know they tried, but. I would like to try it as a waffle mix. That would be interesting, because <clears throat> it, it is pretty thick. All right, so if you've made it this far through the video, we have something for you. Birch Benders was nice enough to send us four packages total, so we're gonna give away three of them. We have two chocolate chip and one regular. We're gonna give one of these away to three people. For three people that comment, Birch Bend Me. And then put your first choice of flavor. Yeah. So, yeah, so. if you want the regular, you better do it quick. Right, so Birch Bend <laughs> Me, and if you want regular, you can call it regular, or if you want Birch Bend Me and chocolate chip. So, it look like this. And uh, we'll get them shipped to you. We do have a couple other uh, Taste tests coming up. We have some crackers uh, that we got. We also have some stuff from Cauliflower Foods. We might be doing something along with those lines as well. Got some flatbreads and some pizza crusts. So be looking for that video here soon. All right, that's the end of our pancake battle. So thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and following us on our journey. Thank you if you have already subscribed. And don't forget to stay keto. We'll see you guys in the next video.